Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Ryan Webb, also known as The Trop. I'm just uh, giving y'all a little introduction to my life, man, where I'm actually from. Before we go and do this Unapologetically Ignorant podcast, shout out to Jilla, shout out to Ricky Rick. We're going to do it right, man. So y'all, come take a walk with me, man. We're on the south side, south side of Rockford, Illinois, my home, my home. Six solid. If you wasn't on this street, I'm not sure what you were doing. You right. weren't doing shit. I'm not sure what you not were much. doing. But um, it all started you right here on this corner. With us, baby. Yeah. It was with us. They know it was with us. Yeah. It all started on this corner, to be honest with you, man. We used to be out in front of Marcus Black. Marcus Black, Black. yeah. We used yep. to be in front of Marcus Black, and really it was just the guys we all grew up together. Yeah. Um, just hanging out, talking. There was no girls over here at first. Well, anyway, no there wasn't no rock my swole ass came right, through. Well, yeah, there was no bottles over here at first. It was really us just, just chopping up. Talking. You know what I'm saying? We'll go. We'll literally go from here to the terrace park to over there. See the back over man. here. You know. And um, people just start pulling up on us. And then we we migrated down because Marcus Black. His OG was tripping. His she sh wasn't having all that. She started tripping, man. She so, started kicking us off the block. So we moved it on down to my house, and and that's where some of the legendary stories. <laughs> that's when Trump <laughs> came in. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's when Trump came in. Give me your fondest memory. What is what, what what stands out? What I mean, there's a thousand of them. But what's what memory stands out? Man, this nigga had a motherfucking party for yeah, Ralphie. I <laughs> the, oh, the one that got shot up? Yeah, yeah they got shot up. This nigga shut up in his house. <laughs> I pushed him out of there. That was a memorable one, but to be honest with you, um, I had just graduated from high school. And this is 2005. I graduated from Rockford Lutheran. Go Crusaders. So we had like two parts of the party. So during the day, you know, all my uh, peers and their parents would come over and eat and like leave the cards and talk. And actually shout out to AG. AG did my graduation, my high school graduation shout party in the back. And uh, he only charged a hundred wow. for it at that time. That was his ticket then. Yeah. And um, this is 2005, so don't ask him for it now. And um, <laughs> so, you know, it's starting to get like around six, seven o'clock. So the guys start showing up. Me? So we're sitting there, we're like, how many people you think gonna show up? So we start counting people we know might come through, and we counted like 25 people. We was like, that's not bad. 200 people the whole came. Block. <laughs> the whole you couldn't even block. park on this entire street yeah, never right did. in the middle. I and I just remember there. AG, he was supposed to be done after like the, the cordial part. And he was yeah. just like, he was like, oh no. Nah. This is where it's at, bro. I'm staying here, and he stayed all night long. And I mean, the, the whole street was flooded. You couldn't drive either way. No police, no violence. All my friends from Lutheran and came. No they brought a keg. No violence. Stay back there. All my, all my people from Lutheran, all my friends from Lutheran came. They brought a keg. And um, I mean, we had like bottles galore. It was crazy. It was really crazy that night. And um, one of the best years ever. That was that was my high school graduation. I, and. After it happened there, people started asking when was the next one. And it was like, it started being like every week. Every week. <laughs> Scooter, man. We all grew up together. He was kind of like the big bro on the block. 
for sure. Oh, definitely. He kept order around here. <laughs> he Southside South landlord. Yeah, he kept he order around here. Uh, like a lot of times, you gotta appreciate him because a lot of times when we wanted to get petty with one another, he wouldn't allow it. Uh, but yeah, this is this was his home. This is where he actually grew up at. This is actually where I met him when my family moved over here. So uh, yeah, he passed away to July. It was July fourth, July fifth, July fifth, two thousand fifteen. Just had a birthday. So anyways, um, yeah, I took a love birthday. But uh, one of my favorite stories, so Scooter's older than me. He's a few years older than me. And my mother at the time worked in Chicago. And my father, he worked at Chrysler, but he worked one of those weird shifts, right? So I would get home from school and nobody would be home. So it was Scooter's responsibility to watch me, right? So he would, I'd get home from school and he'd meet me over there at like four o'clock and we would kick it until, I think my mom wouldn't get home until like seven or eight. This is my mom's plan, by the way. So we sitting there, we're hungry. And it wasn't really nothing in the house, but I knew my mom was going to the grocery store. But I mean, we two young boys, we hungry. So, Scooter, you know, he going to the refrigerator, and it's like these two real thick pork chops my mom got from Highlander. Yeah, I'm Highlander. Highlander, you know what I'm saying? My mom got them from Highlander. And they were like the thick cut center cut pork chops. And my mom had grilled them, and they were my dad's lunch. So my mom used to put like, in a, it was a special section of the refrigerator where my dad's stuff was. It wasn't supposed to be touched. So Scooter come out like, hey, there's pork chops. So I'm like, man, like, where'd you get those pork chops? You put, they were in that section? He was like, yeah. I was like, man, that's for my dad's lunch. Scooter was like, so we sit there. And he like, you said your mom was going to the grocery store though, right? So I'm like, yeah, she did say she was going to the grocery store. He was like, she probably about to go get some more pork chops. So, I mean, I was hungry too, so I was with it. So, that Scooter, he microwave him. He gets a barbecue. He opened a new thing of barbecue sauce. He get them all lathered up. And we bang these pork chops, right? Bang them. So, we sitting there, we playing the video game, and my mom get home. And he's like, your mom home? I'm like, yeah, he take off. <laughs> <laughs> he take out. He get up out of there right away, right? He's like, "Hey, bro, I got you. I got you. You know." I'm like, "All right." So he take off. He. So my mom come home. So I'm like, "I'm gonna play. I'm gonna act like I'm going to bed." So I try to get in the bed. It's like 7:30. I'm never in bed at that time. I'm trying to go to bed. My mom firing the pork chops going. Run, run! I go up there. That. Was, that was a beat. See, that, was, that, was that was a beat. <laughs> that was a beat. And I just remember I was like, uh, I had went to see Scooter the, like the next day. And Scooter was like, hey, how it turned out for you? I'm like, man, I got, I got in a lot of trouble. He like, man. He was like, but let me ask you though. Would you do it again? <laughs> and I'm like, Hell yeah, they're one of the best pork chops I've ever had in my entire life to this day. Shout out to my mom, Jackie Webb, because I, I told her I'd do it. I think it, it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. But Scooter Bogus for leaving me. He, he could have sat there and got some of that cussing out too, because it wouldn't have been as bad if he was there. I could have been like it was his idea. He was older and he got up out of there. So I looked like the hungry one, like I just ate two big old pork chops. <laughs>